in my adult life, you know? So just don't know how much longer you have to share these moments with them. You know, it's, you know, I always say, I want my kids, you know, you, you do this and, and the hope is to, to set your kids up so they don't live the life that I lived growing up in Saginaw. But yet, you know, there's a, there's a downside to that as well, you know? So I always want them to understand where it all came from, you know, like the hard work and, you know, you see the house, you see the car, or the toys, or a vacation, all but where does those things come from, you know? And it's sharing these moments with them so they understand, uh, you know, number one, appreciation and, and being grateful, but also um, just understand hard work. Great, my blow out win two nights ago, obviously the last one tonight. What are the benefits of having kind of this kind of gritty win early in the season? Oh, it's huge um, because, you know, everything was stacked against us. You're coming back from a from a road trip, uh, a four-and-a-half-hour flight. We got back at 3.30 in the morning a couple nights ago. Um, and so then you try to maximize the rest, right? So there's no practice yesterday. There's no shoot-around today. Um, and you come in, and we always talk about the getaway game, you know. So coming off a road trip, which is always tough that first game back home, team without their best player. So you tend to relax when you see that. And then also you're headed back out on the road tomorrow. Um, so it's kind of a perfect storm for us. And, and we knew it wouldn't be an easy game. We know that's a really good team and they're always going to fight and battle. So we knew it would be a tough one. Um, but it was good to see us never go away. You know, when everything was going wrong, everybody, you know, stood, stood in place and made the necessary plays we needed to make to pull the game up. But tell you truth though, Draymond, uh, the bottom line, you guys got these got, got the Kings numbered. How would you define that? I mean, well, that's a team that we just beat in seven games uh, not long ago, you know, in the playoffs. So I wouldn't necessarily say we got their number. Um, that's a team that's trying to learn how to get over the hump. We know how to get over the hump. so. In theory, we should have their number, and, and their job is to get over it. And, and you know, sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it takes two, sometimes it never happens. Um, you know, we've seen that as well. But you know, that's a well-coached team. Um, they got great players on that side, and you know, they're they're really putting it together and changing the outlook of that organization. So I think they're doing a good job. I don't view it as we have their number or anything like that. I think you know. We know how to win games when they come down the stretch. We've been doing it for a long time, and they're still just trying to get over that hump, and it makes it a lot tougher when your closer is out. Everyone, everybody's going to talk about Clay's shot, obviously, but there was a defensive play that he made shortly before that where led to a shot clock violation. Talk about that and how important that play was leading to Steph's bucket. It was a huge play. Um, you know, for him to not uh, even let Harrison get that shot off was such a big play because you get the shot clock violation, and you get to go down and, and um, you know, get our offense set and try to get to uh, whatever, whichever shot they were trying to get. They get that shot up, what they have? Um, 14 offensive rebounds. So now you're battling that as well. So, you know, such a big play, um, you know, for us down the stretch. And usually the basketball guys reward you when you make plays like that. You know, when you're making those hustle plays, when you're engaged in the game, the basketball guys usually reward you. Hey, Draymond, uh, 